We had this conversation with Stuart Stevens about the Republican campaign. Uh, what did you make of it? Well, it was, I thought one of the most interesting things was when he talked about what groups he didn't do well with. He said women, every candidate's going to say that, every, but he talked about with Hispanics. And this is kind of a flaw embedded in and a problem that Republicans are wrestling with right now. How do they reach out to Hispanic voters? And a lot of people think the original sin of the Romney campaign was when Governor Romney moved to the right on immigration uh, in order to uh, forestall a threat from Rick Perry, the governor of Texas, and Romney talked about self-deportation and had a very hard line on immigration, and that that basically walled off Hispanic voters from him. Uh, so the question is, if that was forced on Romney as a result of the GOP primary process, is there something in that primary process? Is there something about the GOP base that's going to keep forcing candidates to that position, and how do they get to a new place? Do they do it with new positions, or do they do it by nominating a candidate like Jeb Bush, former governor of Florida, who has a much better record with Hispanic voters? You know, John, you also heard Stu Stevens say that what Obama did was a state-specific campaign. They were running a national campaign, which I do, do think speaks to what happened during this race. But should you be running a national campaign or should you be running a state-by-state -state campaign, given that it is the electoral college and not the popular vote that elects a president? Well, you know, the Obama campaign did both. I mean, they tactically, they they ran what they've said was basically like uh, a dozen or so governor's races. So they picked out those important swing states and they ran them on specific uh, issues to the state. And then also tactically, I mean, they knew which doors to knock on in such a precise fashion. But the president also talked about the big choice and he constantly on the stump talked about the choice in this election. And that was because he didn't want it to be a referendum about his presidency. So you have to to do both, but uh, but your point is of course right. In the end, it's about those battleground states, uh, and so you have to pay very very close attention to the local on the ground situation in those states. Let's talk about the lunch today quickly because Nora and I both were struck by the idea that Richard Nixon offered Hubert Humphrey the role of ambassador to the United Nations. I mean, is it possible that somehow there is in this uh, conversation the possibility of how Romney could play a role, either using his influence if he has some or be uh, in some position? Well, it's a fascinating question. And we know that, that President Obama has an affection for Doris Kearns Goodwin's uh, team of rivals. Um, and, and he no longer has Democratic uh, rivals uh, that he can pick from. So, you know, he can now turn to Governor Romney. The question is, what role would he play? Um, he certainly really doesn't have a role to play in the immediate negotiations. Uh, he has no influence over House Republicans, and that's where the game is, uh, basically helping John Boehner find the votes to get something through the House. But could he have a larger relationship with business or uh, 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 you know, on that question or entrepreneurship or uh, creating a, a future workforce that will work in America? You could imagine something. Now, I don't know what position that would be. You would imagine maybe it's something like a, a, a board or something, although Republicans are very much against czars, so you wouldn't want to name him a czar in any fashion. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it certainly is something that the president, who is on the one hand uh, in a tough fight with Republicans, it helps him show uh, and remind people that he's a bipartisan or at least trying to be a bipartisan president. John Dickerson, thank you.